did it take you to write your first book? Well, let's see, Gregory. Um, do you want me to go back to when I started writing when I was in the fifth grade? Or are you talking about when I became an adult? Which one would you like to hear about? When you were in fifth grade. Fifth grade. You know what? It all started my, my teacher, Miss Deaver. I, uh, when I was in fifth grade, I really didn't think I could do much of anything. I felt kind of like I was sort of a below average person. And, uh, but Miss Deaver, oh, she changed my life in such a big way. Because when I went to her class, I was the new kid at school. Have you ever been the new kid at school before? Yeah, I didn't know anyone. And I didn't know that my life was about to change either. Because Miss Deaver looked at me and she said, Chris, you can draw. And I was like, really? She let me draw big drawings for her bulletin board. And she put them up in my friends and said, man, Chris, that looks pretty good. So I began to feel like I could do something, you see. And after a few more uh, months, she said, Chris, you are a very creative writer. Guess what happened, Gregory? After that, whenever she gave us a writing assignment, it didn't feel like work at all. It just felt like fun. So that's when I started writing for fun. Even when I would go home from school, even when Miss Deaver didn't tell me to, I would go home and I would write stories. I would make my own newspaper. And usually when I would write a story back then, it'd probably take me about 30 minutes to write, my, to write a, a story. Now, did you ask about a story or a book? Which one did you ask about? Book. A book. Yeah, I made a book in Miss Deaver's class, and it probably took me about a month. But these books here that I have in my hand, uh, when you get an idea for a book, sometimes it takes a long time for that idea to really come out into your brain and become ready to be a book, you know. But when I start writing a book like this, for example, it might take a year to a year and a half to finish it. Because I don't just write the words, I also write the, I also draw all the pictures. So I have to write the, all the words, the first draft, and then the second draft. Usually an author writes a book probably eight or ten times before, they, before it's ready to be read by other people. That's about, that's about right for me. But then I have to do all the rough drafts of the drawings. I have to design the book, figure out how the pictures are going to go in the best place. I didn't design these books. I just drew the pictures. But these two here, I did all the design and everything. So it's, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Sometimes it doesn't even feel like work to me. So about, about, when I was a kid, it took about 30 minutes to a month to write a whole book, 30 minutes for a story. Now, as an adult, it takes a year to a year and a half to write and draw the pictures for a book. What was your first book? My first book in fifth grade was a, uh, a cartoon strip type book. It was called Stupidity Street. <laughs> it was kind of like Sesame Street, but all the people were really dumb. <laughs> And the main character's name was Uncle Dum Dum. <laughs> that was the first one, and I thought it was really funny. And Miss Deaver thought it was funny too. And uh, so that was my very first book that I ever wrote. Why did you want to be an author? I love to write and to draw. And when I was in fifth grade, when that dream came into my heart to be a cartoonist, it seemed like the perfect uh, job for me, Gregory, because uh, I love to draw. And when my friends started saying. That looks pretty good. And, and when they would laugh at my drawings, oh, that was even more fun. And it seemed like the perfect job for me because I thought if I was a, uh, a cartoonist and even an author that I could sit at my desk all day and I could write stories and I could draw pictures and I wouldn't have to talk to anyone because I wasn't very good at talking at all. I had a really bad speech impediment. I couldn't get my words to come out. I stuttered really, really badly until I was 24 years old. Can you believe that? It's true. So, it seemed, so that was all those reasons uh, made uh, being an a, a author illustrator seem like the perfect job for me. And I found out it's what I really love to do. Other than getting to meet great kids like you and encourage kids at schools, it's my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. Thank you for allowing me to interview you. Thank you for interviewing me. I've been very honored. What do you want to do when you grow up? you have a dream on your heart, Gregory? Would you mind sharing it with me? I'd love to hear about it. I want to be a video game maker. Oh, that's a, there's a lot of places that are looking for people that can do that really well these days. And that's, that's a job that will be going on forever and ever, I think. You don't have to worry about that job going away. Let me ask you a question, Gregory. What grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. Do you think there's a fifth grader somewhere on the planet Earth that's going to grow up to be a video game creator? Yeah. And if someone's going to do it, it might as well be you, right, buddy? I believe in you, buddy. 
Thank you, Gravy Brew, for spending time with me. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Have a great day. Bye-bye.